I'm Allie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing something not so bookish and I thought instead I would kind of just go over my Etsy wish list. These are just like around 10 things off my Etsy wish list that I wouldn't mind getting. The thing that I really love about Etsy is that a lot of the times it is just to small businesses and just people making stuff in their homes and selling it online. So support small fun stuff like that. I also just find a lot of the stuff on there is really unique and creative and uh, most of my stuff, fair warning, is a bit eclectic and also is a little on the spookier side if you know my style. So if you know someone that is like that in your life, then this is going to be the video for you. It could be a good way to get ideas of things that you might be interested in or things that you might want to get for your also spooky weirdo friend like me. Probably gonna be no particular order to this at all. Just random things that I really wouldn't mind having. I recently found these and I am absolutely in love. These are the highest thing probably on my wish list. And I think if you know anyone who is into spooky decor or cottage core decor, this will be their thing. And that is these little mushroom shelves. They're so cute. Mushrooms became really big, I feel like, within the past year or two. Um, they were kind of big, I feel like, in 70s decor as well, but they've just been kind of making a comeback with, you know, cottage core growing and Animal Crossing, I feel like. But these, I think, are so adorable. They are like floating little shelves. They're not very big, but they show them with like candles and stuff on them. But I think that these just are a nice statement piece. And I do believe that the seller also has hooks that are also like mushrooms that look a little phallic, to be honest. But st So I think that that these are so adorable. I would love to have these on my new gallery wall. So I think that these are so cute and I just, I'm like obsessed. I want like 10 of them. I want a whole lot. Like they're just so cute. They're so cute. And I feel like they're really unique. I haven't really seen anything like that. I'm sure like, um, what's that store? The apothecary store or whatever. We'll probably knock these off and, you know, steal this idea and sell them in a year anyway. This next thing is something that is really weird. <laughs> I feel like for most people, but I want this so bad. I want it so bad. And it is this like T-Rex mini skeletal statue. Now the one in the picture is gold. I'm, I wouldn't really want it to be gold. I would want it to just look like bone. So just like the ivory bone or whatnot, like a little dirty, a little dirty from like digging it out or whatnot. But I, I would love this. I think it would be a fantastic statement piece on like my mantle area. I am... I love dinosaurs. I love learning about dinosaurs. One of my all-time favorite books is The Rise and the Fall of the Dinosaurs. And so this, I think, would just go really well too with like the aesthetic of my library because I have like skeletons and like spooky stuff and like witchy stuff. But I also think this would just be really neat for any other nerd in your life who likes these kind of things. But I am obsessed with this one that is a T-Rex. I think it is so, and I, it looks fairly large. Um, it, I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know. I might be lying, but it, it seems like it's just so beautiful and so stunning and I want it so bad. Okay, moving on to something a little smaller. We have, this is a pin. I do collect pins. I don't really wear them. I wore them one time on a vest and lost all of them. And so now they just kind of like, I store them, but I still love having them and I pull them out from time to time and just kind of look at them. So I do love pins. Now, I also am obsessed with Mothman. Little known fact. I love learning about Mothman, the men in black, scary stuff. So I really want this Mothman pin, but on top of that, it is shaped like a planchette, which I love planchettes. I, I, I think I have more planchette spooky stuff on here, but I think I love this design. It's really simple, but also I feel like it's just really neat. I just, I just, I just, words, words are hard. See how excited I am. <laughs> about the little things, but I do think that the, this is really cute. I do believe it is sold out, but anything Mothman, I have like 40 things that are Mothman saved. And I, I don't know if maybe the seller will be coming out with more at some point or if they will be coming out with similar designs, but just like a general idea of things that I enjoy <laughs> is Mothman. Well, okay, this is a really cute piece of art. It's a snake print and I feel like it looks like kind of like an old school kind of 
children's fantasy illustration and I love that the snake looks like happy in it. It is so adorable. I also really just love the colors with this. I feel like the colors go really well with the scheme of my library and it's just like a really simple artwork but I think that it's like a really cute folk art type style and I'm just I'm just really enjoy it. I love having pictures of animals and especially creepy animals, the unloved animals, the ones that are misunderstood. I have spiders everywhere. Let's just add to it with some snakes. I've been wanting to add more snakes into my decor. <laughs> so I feel like this one is it's cute but it's also still like got that slight creepy factor that I love. Oh, okay, this is another thing. I really wanna get into like, I don't know the official word for it. Entomology maybe, but like taxidermy type things, not like animals, but insects. I would love to have a collection of preserved butterflies and moths and whatnot. I have some spiders. I would love more spiders. I just want like a whole wall one day in my house that is just like preserved insects. Thing I really, the only thing I hesitate about this is that like I don't personally know how to do it and I don't know who to trust when it comes to it because I would obviously not want people who are going out there and like specifically killing these insects in order to create this type of art form. I would want them to be ones that like have died naturally or come from like, I don't know, researchers. I don't know. I don't know. Like there's good reasoning behind why they have died and are preserved. Now there is also fake taxidermy, which I'm also really interested in because I do feel like that might be kind of a substitute for those areas that I'm a little iffy on. So one is the top of my list for this type of art <laughs> is a death heads moth because I think that these I'm, I, I, I want like a tattoo of these I think that they are so aesthetically pleasing I just love the way that they look I just find them very interesting to look at so this would be number one like on my list I would just love to have a wall and this be like the centerpiece just absolutely beautiful so that is one of the things on my list as well I love wearing red. I feel like anyone who has watched that knows that I tend to wear um, either black or red a lot of the time. <laughs> and one thing that I absolutely love, this has been on my wish list for years, but will I ever make the leap to buy it for myself? Probably not. But that is the super bright statement coat and it has this gorgeous eye design on it. I love anything that has these like really simple eye designs. I love that. And this is just, I love the fur, the big thick furriness and I, I it's a beautiful it's amazing it's the most perfect statement jacket of all time I feel like it's great for me too because I wear mostly black and I like to jazz it up with just like something over the top um it tends to be cardigans most of the time or just a jacket when I go out so I have jackets of a lot of different colors that I can just easily throw on spice up any of my normal black on black outfits and I think like this 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 is like perfect I love this and it, the fact that it's been in my wish list for like I think close to like four years now <laughs> you'd think I would just make the leap at this point but no I can't bring myself to do it Ooh, okay more library stuff there is this beautiful ghosty like bust I love busts they just tend to be really expensive but this like a beautiful ghosty type bust um, this one is on one of the cheaper sides of things. There's a few others in my wish list that are way more expensive than this one, but I really think the size of this one is good because it looks like it's fairly small in terms of like most busts, um, but I think it would, again, be a really great statement piece in my library. I really want something that seems like dark academic and kind of Greek mythology type, and so... I think that this is beautiful and I think if you know anyone else who is into that type of thing this would also be a really great gift because it's one of those things I feel like you can't justify buying for yourself <laughs> like you stare at them longingly but you can't justify buying because you're like what would be the point of it then the rest of this stuff is just kind of like ra totally random uh one is this planchette like wall art piece it's wooden 
this person like designs them. They have different ones all the time. This is one that I'm currently in love with, but they sell out fairly quickly it seems and then replace with new designs all the time. Honestly, I'd probably be happy with any from this creator because they are all gorgeous. I have liked multiples of them in my wish list, but this orange one in particular, I feel like it's just screaming my name right now. I've been obsessed with orange this year. I'm really into like decorating for Halloween year round and I think that this would be beautiful on a wall. And I just, I just really love the design. I love the, the gold chain and whatnot on it, the chain to hang it. And I just, they're just always, mm, so good, so good. Also, my partner and I bought an RV this, this past year, and we've been kind of like making it over, getting it ready to hopefully use next summer to hit the road and go do things. <laughs> And one of the things that we really want to do are hit the national parks. And so I would really like to get this like national park type poster type thing and you kind of like mark it off as you go and visit each national park. I've seen some that are like the scratch off type ones, but I like the simpler design of this one and you just kind of like color it in when you're done. And I thought that this was, it's cute. You could use it on its own or mark it off, whatever. But I think that this would be nice to hang in our RV and mark them off as we get to visit them. I love Animal Crossing as I feel like do most people. <laughs> and Lucky is my favorite. Now I have like a whole thing on Etsy in my favorites category that's just like lucky lucky memorabilia and stuff but i really would love i know i don't do a lot of stuffed animals but this lucky pillow stuffed animal type thing is so cute and i think it would look really great on my streaming chair just to have and just like kind of decorate it up a little bit but lucky is my favorite i love that little spooky dumb boy so much he is so adorable and so i would love to have just a little piece of him in my stream area at all times. Plus I think that this just is like a cute gift overall. And then the very last thing is also something that I would enjoy in my streaming area if you didn't know I stream. I'm on Twitch, username is with Malice, but I would love to get a neon, fake neon, because neon is quite dangerous, but fake neon, not so much. I'd love to get a fake, and plus it's less expensive to get fake neon. A fake neon sign made, this is just like, there's so many on Etsy to choose from. I just kind of picked a random one that I had seen, but I would love to get it that says with malice to put on the wall behind me when I'm streaming and have it on. I think it would just be a really nice backdrop and whatnot, just something simple. That's pretty much it. I think that these are really great. Neon is really in, in a design factor as well. So you could get this to say, a multitude of things. I think these are really edgy, they're really cool, and I think they really spice up a space without like being too much. And they create great ambient light. So those are some of the weird and spooky and random things on my Etsy witch list. <laughs> I feel like I had a, a, a quite a variety of price points there and just so you can get a general sense of the weird shit that I am searching on Etsy all the time. <laughs> I feel like most people have cute like t-shirts and mugs and I'm just like fake dead insects please. <laughs> Skulls to hang on your wall. <laughs> Hopefully this has given you some ideas whether it's for yourself or someone that you know. Let me know your favorite thing that you have ever bought off of Etsy. I would love to know. Don't forget to subscribe to see future videos from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!